Hey, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to go over a free game that's available right now on Steam and Pac-Man Championship Edition 2, as well as a pair of free weekends that are running on Steam. And Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age, if you guys don't know about that, that's the uh, PC version of Final Fantasy XII, the definitive version of the game. Well, it just had a patch drop today out of nowhere. It removed the Denuvo, the infamous DRM on the port, as well as other changes made to the game. I want to go over that as the game is on sale. And one of my favorite JRP in recent memory. Loved Final Fantasy 12. We'll talk that at the end of this video. But again, Pac-Man Championship Edition 2 is free right now on Steam and it will be free until May 10th, so you have quite a while to take advantage of it. Now, it actually does have a mostly negative reception recently uh, based on 35 user reviews, whatever the case may be. I imagine it's Pac-Man. It notes the much-awaited sequel to Pac-Man Championship Edition featuring eye-popping 3D graphics and funky visuals. New modes include score attack and an adventure mode. I believe it typically goes for like $12.99, so this is a pretty good a freebie to snag up right now. Make up to four ghost a trains for maximum chompage. New modes again include score attack and adventure mode with fast fleeting uh, fleeing fruit, big bad bosses, ridiculous remix rules, and much more. So check that out. Bandai Namco is giving this away for free on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One as well. So if you'd rather get those versions, hey, you could snag those up too, and you can get the PC version. So that is free until May 10th. Alright, moving on from that, I also do want to highlight a pair of free weekends that are available right now. First of all, we have the survival strategy game in Project Winter. This is done by Other Ocean Interactive. Very positive reception on this one. 2,272 user reviews. 83% of those reviews are positive, along with the free weekend, as it will be free for the next two days to play. Obviously, you don't get to keep it forever. Uh, it is seeing a discount right now. 65% off for $6.99. It notes the perfect game to backstab your friends. Project Winter is an eight-person multi player game focusing on social deception and survival. Communication and teamwork is essential to the survival's ultimate goal of escape. Gather resources, repair structures, and brave the wilderness together. So you can check that out for the next two days for free. And the key features of the game note, escape to survive, hidden roles, teamwork, communication, betrayal, and deception. The traders are outnumbered and weak when the game begins. They may infiltrate the survivors and earn their trust while they build up their strength. Survivors can never be 100% sure of who to trust. The traders can take advantage of this by spreading lies and pitting the survivors against each other. So pretty cool uh, mechanics in this game, if I say so. I'll definitely be checking this out at some point. Probably won't get to it this weekend, but a rather interesting title. It released back in May of 2019, so still a relatively recent release. Also, the other free weekend is Postscriptum. This is a game that is a first-person simulation shooter that provides an authentic World War II combat experience focusing on historical accuracy, large-scale battles, and a challenging battlefield that demands an intense need for cohesion, communication, and teamwork. So this this is definitely not a Call of Duty-like game where it's a little bit more arcadey in a sense and fast-paced. This is a game that is going to require a lot of strategy, a lot of critical thinking, things of that nature. It's gotten a mostly positive reception on Steam. 7,091 reviews, 78% positive on that. And then recent reviews actually paint an even more positive picture. 447 user reviews, 85% positive on that. And so you can check that out right now. Game is a little bit more difficult to run if you do look at the recommended system requirements. A GTX 1060 or an R, uh, a Radeon 5. 70, I should say, at least 6 gigabytes of VRAM as well, so that's something I just wanted to note, and then it does note a 6-core CPU is recommended, but obviously the minimum requirements are a lot more lax, with the GTX 770 being minimum and a Radeon HD 787. That's still pretty modest for a minimum requirement. Okay, so that is free for the weekend as well, so you can check that out. Just checking how many people are online right now. Uh, there's 4,709 people online as of the recording of this video, so that's a reasonable amount of people online if you are worried about finding a multiplayer game, and obviously those servers are going to be a little bit more populated given the fact it is enjoying a free weekend. All right, so all of that is free right now. Pac-Man Championship Edition 2, free forever. Project Winner, free for the weekend. And then Postscriptum, free for the weekend as well. So you can check that out and you can enjoy discounts on both those games. Postscriptum, by the way, 25% off for $22.49. So not a steep discount, but nonetheless, you can check it out free this weekend. All right, moving on from that, I do want to quickly cover that Final Fantasy 12: The Zodiac Age has received a patch today, which removes Denuvo, the infamous DRM on this PC they actually put out patch notes and they didn't make mention of removing Denuvo. I guess that's something they just quietly snuck under the rug, but PC uh, Gaming Wiki did mention that. And again, I always recommend you guys to utilize that site. It's a great tool for any PC gamer when you're looking into PC games, uh, seeing how they run and whatever the case may be on that. And uh, all the different performance issues, bugs that are reported, patch notes, everything like that. It's a very, very useful tool. On top of that, they do note the job reset function has been added, so you can reset that. And Gambit system has been expanded to three sets 
kind of a random update out of nowhere. Uh, the PlayStation blog actually does note a lot of other updates as well. License resets, original soundtrack, and more have been added. So a very, very nice update to Final Fantasy XII. And I really wanted to use this as an excuse to talk about FF12 because it is one of my favorite games in the entire Final Fantasy franchise. Now, FF12, when it came out, was one of the black sheep in the Final Fantasy series. A lot of people did not really like it. And I think over time, it has aged really positively because back in the day when it came out in 2006, a lot of people didn't enjoy the game based on its combat system. It really moved away from the traditional Final Fantasy combat system. And it played more like an MMO in that it was this slower paced, Fill up the gauge and then you can strike combat system. I guess there were also some story nuance issues, especially the main character and Vaughn. Vaughn is just not a great character. However, I would say that overall the game was really good and you did have a great characters complementing the experience like Ash, Botch, Balfir, and it's just a great game and it is on sale. 50% off for $25. So if you're a fan of Japanese RPGs, you want one that's a good JRPG to get into. You want a gateway JRPG? I think this is a really good one. The combat style is more reminiscent of a Western RPG and I think from that end, you'll really enjoyed. It's got a great setting, and uh, overall, I think the game's really good, and with these patch notes and the fixes being made to the game, the DRM being removed, that is a very, very nice, and you can check that out for $25. Yeah, a little bit on the pricey side, but FF12 generally does keep a high price point, uh, but I do think it's worth the price, and there's a ton of content in this game. You can do so much if you do want to do everything. So that's going to conclude this video, guys. Again, Pac-Man Championship Edition 2 is a free right now over on Steam. You can also check out Project Winter as well as Postscriptum give them both a look over the weekend and final fantasy 12 the zodiac age get some updates it's on sale right now 50 percent off for 25 dollars. so give that a look if you are looking for a quality jrpg to play that's gonna wrap up this video if you guys have a request for a future video you can leave that in the comment section down below and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.